skills for agents, I have a game changer for you and your business. Whether you're a real estate agent and in, a beginning influencer, or you are an interior decorator, whatever, a mortgage person, this is going to be a game changer for your business. So go in the description below, grab my affiliate link if you haven't already um, started with Canva and get started with Canva. Sign up for the pro version. I suggest paying the amount per year that it requires you to pay because I'm telling you, this is all you're going to need for your business along with WeVideo. If you're going to get started with video, I suggest WeVideo. It's a great platform to use and it's so super user friendly. All right, let's get started with animated logos using Canva. All right, so what you're going to do is you're going to come in to Canva. So I'm going to come in here and I'm going to do uh, the first thing you're always going to do when you come into Canva if you want to create a new design is click create a design and it gives you a search. OK, and here you can begin to type anything that you're searching for for suggestions. And we are typing in animated logo. It's giving you a suggestion that says animated logo. You're going to click on that. And off to the left, you are going to get suggestions for different animations. So if you just hover over each of these, it's going to give you um, a view or a preview of what that animation does. Okay. So just scroll down here and look for um, something that is like, wow, that's exactly kind of like what I was looking for, for an animation of my logo. Now, in, in order to animate your particular logo, um, if you've had a logo created via Fi Fiverr or you've created it yourself or something, I would suggest that you upload it into Canva and then you're going to use it as a static image in this software. Now you can go into PowerPoint and you can go into Keynote, Keynote and create an animated logo in there um, and that's great, but I suggest that you come in here if you have a static image and just create a very quick, simple animation to your logo. You don't have to go and spend hours and hours to create, create an animated logo. All right, moving on. So, um, what I suggest you do is if you like a particular, um, animation that you see over here on the left hand side. I would suggest that you click on any of these animations and um, and then once you click on it, it will go into the can canvas area, okay? Then from there, you're going to click on the animated part, okay? So this right here is just a static text box, okay? If you click on it, it's gonna show you up here that it's a text box. But if you click on this one up here, Okay, this right here is just an image. Okay, all it is is a certain image. I don't know, it could have been somebody's logo or whatever, but it's an image. Now, this right here is an animation. Okay, so if I were to come over to elements and I, I um, typed in a shape. Okay, so you type in hexagon animation. This is what it gives you, is it gives you these different types of animations. And now we see that this is the particular animation that this one is. So if you wanted a white one, it's right here. If you wanted, um, looks like the purple one is static. Oh no, it changes to this. Um, doesn't look like there's another color, but, um, and, and you can't change these colors. So um, my suggestion would be to um, either um, not use this one or find something different that's a hexagon if you like the hexagon option. Um, here's a green and a white one in a different type of solid way. So there's just lots of different options that you could use. Now, if you didn't want a hexagon, if you wanted um, a circle, you would just simply type in circle. And here's your circle animation options. 
So maybe you didn't want a hexagon. Maybe you wanted something that was a circle. Or maybe you wanted to type in um, a square for your animation. Maybe you wanted a square animation. Okay? So the sky is the limit on what you can do. All right? So let's go back over to templates. And we're going to scroll back up. And we're going to click on some more of these. Okay. So we have that one come in. And now we're going to take and break it apart. And that's what you need to do with all of these to figure out which uh, ones you like and what, what, what they've done to it. That's really how you're going to learn these different animations. So you'll see here that this is just an animated X and it fits right in that diamond box. Okay. And then you can go ahead and put put the words over it with um, an effect over the text. So if you look right here, it's you using the neon for the effect of it, okay? Which goes right in line with the logo, the color of the logo and everything, okay? So if we wanted to do something like, um, let's go and do something like, uh, let's do this one. This is kind of cool. So down here is this animated logo. Okay. It's got, um, what it's got is it's got the name here. It's got this static image of a, um, looks like, uh, some sort of Sagittarius horn, a bull or something. And then it's got this animated image. So if we were to go to elements again, and we um, were to type in square animation, we probably could find something like this and see if there's possibly a different color or something like that. So there's all these just different options. And you could also type in diamond, D-I-A-M-O-N-D, and see what type of options you have for diamond um, animations. So this is pretty cool. This one right here and what we could do is we could add this one on top of the existing one that's there and create even even more of an animation okay so then what we could do is we could create potentially um you know our name on here so i'm going to go ahead and put my name on here i'm going to make it um, i have a very prestigious um, font that I have uploaded into Canva. And yes, you can upload fonts in the pro version of Canva. So I'm going to put this font in there. Um, I'm going to make that font my font. And I'm going to change the text color to black. Okay. So I'm just going to make it my initials. I'm going to increase that font. And then I'm going to, um, I'm going to dismiss that. Um, I'm going to move around this um, text box so that it's right in the middle of my image. So once you see those crosshairs and it's right in the middle, then you can let it go. And boom, you have an animated logo just like that. And if I wanted to take it a step further and maybe and do something like real estate, I could do uh, real estate at the bottom and we'll change it to black or, you know, let's change it to blue. Okay. And let's change the font type to this. And then we're going to move it down here. And there you go. You have an animated logo for your business. Now this has a particular image inside of it. All you have to do is delete it. And if you had a particular image, like a house or something, and you wanted something like that inside of it, you could definitely do that. But I think this is pretty cool just the way it is. So I'm going to put that up top here like this. I'm going to do this to my real estate put it like that. And again, you can make this as big as you want or as small as you want. So I'm going to highlight all of it. I'm going to highlight all of it 
and then I'm going to increase it so that it takes up a bit more of my area. I'm going to move it down. Okay. And then I'm going to move my real estate down, down to the bottom here. And there we go. There is our animated logo. And now in order for us to use our animated logo, we're going to click the download button. And if you see right here, it comes up as an MP4. Now you can download that particular page, just that page, as an MP4. And it's just a small video. Or you can change this and do it as a GIF. Now, just know that you may not be able to upload a GIF into um, maybe like WeVideo or something or into um, any other software. But just um, what I would do is um, download a GIF and an MP4, and that way you have options. So I'm going to download the uh, MP4, and I'm going to make it just the third page. I'm going to download. And here it goes downloading. And here is our animated logo, all set and ready for our business. I hope that this was really good information. I hope it was valuable to you. And if it was, please share a comment, give me a like, and subscribe to my channel for more information, more value, more technical ideas for your business. Thanks. Have a great day.